Hey, I'm Brett, and I'm here with Dan Pallone, who is the founder and president of L184. You guys do a lot of software development, iPad development, cloud computing. Yep. I know today we're really breaking down the user service, user accounts, right, and memcache. Mm -hmm. I think users, I think about security, authentication, realms, groups. Is that the kind of thing we're going to be getting into? Yes, it's the kind of thing we're going to be getting into, um, but by using the App Engine platform, we're not going to have to build it. And so we can leverage you know, the established Google account, millions of Google accounts that are out there. We're going to use their security infrastructure, um, their management of, you know, is this person authorized, and they okay. forgot their password, all that kind of stuff. All we're going to care about as an application is that Google vouches that this is the user they say they are, and here's their information. Right. Okay, and then tuning. I mean, I have to admit, I think about tuning and, and, and caching, and I think of low-lit rooms and guys with huge monitors that don't ever sleep and, like, Star Wars T-shirts. I mean... How is, how is caching, are we really going to get into it at that level? What are we doing here no, today? we don't have Star Wars t-shirts. Um, but we're, we're going to be looking at it kind of at a macro level. Right? Okay. So we're going to be looking at what patterns can we introduce, what services can we use in the App Engine to, that really do make a huge difference on our application. Um, so you will be able to kind of take a look at what resources are we using, you know, mm -hmm. how, how many times are we hitting the data store, um, how long is our round trip for the end user, what's the user experience like. And then um, we'll take advantage of the caching service to just basically, without a lot of work, introduce some basic patterns that we can use in different places in the app that make a huge difference to performance. And these patterns, are they Google patterns? Are they patterns that, that, as a developer, we kind of figure out that work well in our app? Or Some of the patterns are kind of just scalability patterns with that app engine twist of how do we okay. do this, how do we do this kind of caching or whatever the pattern was we're talking okay. about in the app engine. Okay. Good. Well, I know we're going to start out by looking at the app we're, we're building toward, right? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, those kinds of patterns that we're finding, I'd love to have other people let us know what they're finding as they get into Memcache. You can always tweet us that kind of stuff at O'Reilly Video and uh, give us some input at wh what's working for you. So let's take a look at the app. Okay. problems with caching is anytime you talk to people that are doing tuning and performance is there's kind of this hand wave at well it's much faster now and you can't right. really tell so how, how are we going to actually I mean it's, it's one thing to say we're going to performance optimize how are we actually going to know that you're not just doing that bit oh well yeah it's much faster just trust me oh well, you're like setting me up here yeah if you're not measuring it it doesn't matter, right? So you have to have a way to metric anything okay. that we're going to. If you're going to go tune something, you right. better know what you have and right. where you're getting, where you, you know, whether or not you've made an impact. Right. Um, so when so we that'll be that a big piece here, of this. Absolutely, right. When we do that um, on our application today, um, we're going to go through and we'll instrument it. Um, mm -hmm. Well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to leverage some SDK stuff so okay. to make it easier to so instrument. So that's in the App Engine SDK. Right. Yep. We'll take advantage of that so that we can get a really solid idea of what's going on in the application, okay. and then we'll tune that and make sure we're making progress. Okay. So show me some of the things that, that specifically we're going to focus on tuning in this application. Sure. And wh where we're kind of trying to drive toward. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is. Um, we're going to set up the the actual um, app stats is the package we're going okay. to use, and that'll let us take a look at everything that's happening when we make a request. Okay. And so, um, and then what this this app for folks that haven't seen it, why don't you just briefly say what we're seeing here? This is live data out of a data store. Yeah, that we're looking yeah. at. Yep. So what we're looking at here, so this is um, you know, our good eat and servlet, and this is our local version, and we'll use this one and the cloud version. Mm -hmm. um, and this is you know uh, the good eat and servlet is going to hit the back end data store in the app engine, okay. and we've talked about that in a different video. Um, and it pulls data out. It pulls a list of restaurants out, the top ten restaurants based on when they were inserted and um, pulls those out along with some comments and displays those to the user when we hit the page. And so that's the first one we're going to look at because that's the okay. landing page. I mean, that's where everybody hits. That's where we're going to see so our traffic. That's a place to tune. Right. That's a we're place to look at there. caching and, yep. and that sort of thing. Yep. And we need to make sure we look at it not just from a raw performance perspective, but remember we're in the cloud now where it's utility computing, right? Mm -hmm. We're paying per um, how long things take to execute, how okay. much of a service we're consuming. And so we're going to look at tuning that and trying to get that down. So we're not trying to, to lower just the overall load time, but actually mm -hmm. figure out like how can we optimize our database, Right. I guess either queries or fetches mm -hmm. and result sets. What other improvements are we making to this thing? So um, once we get some performance under our belt, um, we want to look at kind of personalizing a little bit more. So we're going to add a sign-in capability, okay. um, which is going to leverage the Google um, 
App Engine user service, which gives us basically gives you access or you know, allows any of the millions of existing Google users to sign in and out of your application without having to create new accounts or anything okay. like that. Um, we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to update um, our JSPs a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about the local um, hosting environment and how to fake accounts. Um, we're so gonna security, authentication security, implies yes, some, some, some level stuff. of security. Yep, yep. we're going to put some authentication, so like the, um, the button to add restaurants, submit comments, we're going to put some constraints around those. Um, and then ultimately, since we have this information, um, we're going to tie it back into the data we're storing so that we can start to interact or set the stage to interact with the user. So lots of stuff on here is going to change then. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, it sounds like more the, the, the user experience. That the, this isn't just polished because it's not window dressing. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, as I think about authentication and caching and security, I mean, these are, these are heavy-duty pieces of, of code to deal with here. Sure. This is, you kind of think of this as back-end polish, okay. right? We're going to improve our security posture a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about... We're going to set the stage for personalization, mm -hmm. you know, help letting users log in and out, um, which is part of the security thing, but also, as we have that information, how can we make a better user experience? Um, and then from a performance perspective, again, user experience, but also reducing our back-end costs. And this is all using the App Engine services? Absolutely. Yep. All right. I want to see it. All right.